Welcome to Thursday's edition of the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. Well, all of last week and then up to this week, we're talking about the fact that God has a plan. Come on. I heard the testimony of a young man. He was on Kelly's broadcast. Mm. And he, he stopped at a railroad crossing and suddenly he had a vision. And he saw himself up over the top of that train. And he said, I could see the front of the train and the end of the train. Mm. And he said, that's the way God is with time. Mm. He can see the end from the beginning. Mm. And he has a plan. He knows where that train is going and he knows where it's supposed to go. Mm. So we don't do anything until we seek God. Amen. Come on, Amen. come on. We seek him and we spend time in the floor. Yeah, yeah, Hallelujah. yeah. And we spend time in this book and we read it and we meditate on it and we think about it. Praise and God. certain things will begin to come up on the inside. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And Hallelujah. when it comes up, it's a calling. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and listen to it. Don't violate it. Right. And don't just, I used to just jump out and do something and it, it I, I did way too much and I preached myself to exhaustion twice. Yeah. And because I didn't inquire the Lord, I'd announced something from the platform that, and then I stuck with it. And he said, you're mistaking the anointing for strength, and it's not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, I don't intend for you to live under that anointing all day, all time, all night, and all day long. You can't. He mm -hmm. said, it's my power. Mm -hmm. That's right. Wow. So, and, and I notice when you do, mm -hmm. you wind up preaching the same thing over and over and over and mm -hmm. over. Yeah. That's fine if you're instructed to do that, mm -hmm. but it's not fresh. Correct. Come on. Yeah, it's Come on. just a labor. Right. It's a labor right. of love, but it's tired. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then I would depend on the Spirit of God to come, and he would do it. Yeah. But it hurt me physically. Mm. That's right. Mm. The calling is his plan. Mm. Amen. Come on. And that building was born inside you. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I heard those words mm. coming to you from the revival capital of the world. Hallelujah. I knew it was done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had no idea what it meant. Mm. Mm. Then we came out here and the Lord said, you're not going to call it that. Mm. Other people are going to call it that. And don't you call it that until I tell you to. <laughs> I forgot about it. Yeah. Yeah. We were out here. The church was built. Some people, I believe from Phoenix, Hispanic people, mm -hmm. and they came here and they came to Pastor George and she said, does the revival capital of the world mean anything to you? Oh, wow. <laughs> he said, wow. yes, why? She said, I had that in this dream mm -hmm. and the Lord said, go there and it would be here. Mm -hmm. That's when we began to say it publicly. Wow, wow. Now you think that was easy not to say that? I had heard that audibly. Mm -hmm. I wanted to tell the world about it but I didn't dare. You're right. So, now listen, listen to me. I just cast all the care of the Lord over on it. Now let's talk about the giving and the right and the left. Mm. There are giving, times of giving that we don't have any business talking to other people about it. Mm. You just do it. That's right, that's right. And there are some things over the years that, that we've done that it's not anybody else's business. Right. Right. Now, those that, that are, and the Lord allows me to say mm. something about it. Mm. But you just don't talk about some things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But there are people, on the other hand, and I, I know of this, mm. that untaught, <laughs> bless you, sweet. 
<laughs> untaught, will get up next to someone, oh God, you know how much I need a new washer and dryer. <laughs> you, you know how much I need. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on. You don't do that. No. Nope. God knows you have need of that washing dryer. Yes, That's does. right. Yes, he does. One, one woman I'm thinking about now, she went to the Lord and said, now you know I need this and I want it on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, it came in supernaturally. Praise she said, God. Lord, it wasn't my birthday. He said, when were you born again? Oh, wow. It was her new birthday. He wow. gave it to her on her. Well, that's when he took her. Yeah. 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 That's sweet. That's wonderful. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> the more we turn toward him, the more we live oh, go by on. him. Mm. Amen. It's about coming into that place of just absolute self-surrender. It is. God. You couldn't have said it a better way. God, here I am. Amen. This is, this is where I need to be. I need to be in that place of intimacy yes. with you. Yes. That everything from the outside the world. Secret place. Yes. That secret place. Amen. And the, the scripture in, um, in the book of Hebrews, uh, sorry, Ephesians, Ephesians 1. <laughs> yeah. Ephesians 1, verse 3. Uh, I began to get a revelation of it in a greater way than ever before because it says, blessed be the God. Yes. Praise God. And Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. who hath blessed us with all ah, of spiritual yes. blessings. In heavenly places. In heavenly places, in Christ. And I, I came to realize that as a child of God, we are positioned in a place of authority that we have to step to, we've got to get into. We're already there <laughs> because of what he's done for us. But we have to get there. In our hearts, in our spirits, have to understand where we rightfully are. And, uh, and, and I realized that, that Paul, when he's, when he's writing this, and, 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 and I realized at that moment, there is a pipeline a reservoir of blessing mm -hmm. of God for every one of us. Okay. Yes. And it doesn't run out. It doesn't mean because everything that God's done here at the revival capital of the world, mm -hmm. there's not enough for us in Africa. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it doesn't mean there's not enough for you in your state or you in your town or you in wherever you live. There is enough for every one of us. There is a pipeline of provision yes. that is attached to a reservoir of the supernatural blessing of God. And I came to realize this, Brother Kenneth, I came to realize that a reservoir is not a small cup. It's not a little bucket. It's not a, you know, a little water tank outside your house. A reservoir is a supply yes. that is adequate, more than enough for everything that God has called and God has purposed in your heart for you to do. According to his According riches. to his purpose. Yeah. And so when we started the project, when we started to move forward in what God wanted for us, I said, Lord, I'm going to believe in this money. I'm going to believe in what, what, what you've, you've, you've told us. And, and, and it was like the Lord dropped in my spirit. He said, Andre, I want this to be different to anyone else. I want this to be cash. Mm -hmm. You got to do this cash. And I realized that I had a, put my connection into my provision from that reservoir of God's blessing. And it was in that moment when I connected that I just began to see the supernatural provision of God come. And I said, Lord, when do we go? When do we go? When do we go? He said, hold back, hold back. It was like a, like I, was, oh. I felt like a racehorse, <laughs> you know, waiting, waiting in the gate because all I wanted to do was I wanted to go. And, and, and I wanted to do this. And he said, wait, wait, wait. And I was waiting because I've come to realize something. You can also rush ahead of God. Oh. Yes, you can. 
So you see, ask me how I know. <laughs> timing, no. timing is critical. Timing is critical for yes, everything is. God says. And, and, and here's the point, that when the vision comes to you and when the word of God comes to you, understand it is already done in the eyes of God. Exactly. In the heart of God, it's fulfilled. Yes. Yeah. It's done because he's given you the vision. <laughs> but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the right time to do it now for you in that moment of your life. And I've had to learn there's that season. The provision is there, the blessing of God, and I have to say, Lord, when do I let this horse out? When, 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 can we, when is that gate going to open? When is it going to run? Because I know that when I start to run, I need to make sure there is adequate supply of God's goodness Didn't and blessing. did Jesus say that? Absolutely. You have to count the cost. Count the cost, mm -hmm. measure it. That's good. You, 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 you don't want to get halfway through it and run out of money. Yeah. yeah. Now, what the Lord said to you to do it debt free. Mm -hmm. Right. It's huge. Yeah. yeah. And I'll tell you why. Christian people don't realize it, center people sure don't realize it. For me to go in. Oh, and there are people that would really have loved to do it. Mm. For us to go in and apply for a loan for a Cessna Citation 10 at the time, right. the fastest civilian airplane on the planet, mm. and we would have qualified for it. Right. Two things. One, you're entering into a covenant. Mm. And I am telling them, I'm guaranteeing you Let's say on a on a home. Yeah. I'm guaranteeing you that I will be equally as able to do this 30 years from now as I am now. Come on. And I'm entering into a covenant with you, and I don't have any idea what's in your life. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'm connecting up right. with you. Right. I preached this at at a minister conference one year, then the pastor came back the next year. And he said, you said that last year. And so he said, I went home. Now, I'm not saying that all bankers are this way, but I'm mm -hmm. telling you this. You are entering into covenant with somebody. Come on, mm -hmm. come on. And I had the Lord tell me, he said, I have churches that have entered in, uh, in covenant to the wrong people, some of them to the mob, and they don't even know it. Mm -hmm. right. And I know right. of that situation too. I won't go into that. And he came back and he said, I went, I went to the bank and... Uh, and I walked in there and I asked for Mr. So-and-so. And she said, I think they're working on your, on your church loan right now, Pastor. Let me get him out here. And she was, you know, and he came out, big smile on his face. He said, I believe we got good news, Pastor. I believe we're going to do it. He said, well, that's the reason it came by. We've decided to, we've decided to go ahead and do it uh, on our own and, and just build, a, you know, and, and just do it debt free. He said his entire face changed. Mm. He said, you can't do that without us. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. And he began to curse the man to his face. Oh, my yeah. Now, yeah. Yeah. he goes into covenant with that man. Mm -hmm. Now, that devil is in his business, yeah. and he's got church problems and cannot figure out why in the world he's come got on. financial problems. Come on. Mm -hmm. the, the Lord spoke to us and said to me, when you have 30 fold in the bank, 30% of the contract value, do it, and I'll do the rest. He gave me the clear direction. That's what you had to have. That's what I had to have. And, and, and God brought it by faith in. We pulled the trigger on it to go. We're now going with the project. And when that happened, everyone was contacting us saying, we because now it was in the newspapers. Now it was, you know, this, this, this greatest facility is coming into a city that, that people have been saying, how is it possible? How do you build 11,000 seater in that position like that? It was like they couldn't understand it. People were approaching us. We want in on the project. We want in on Sure, we do. No, no, no. <laughs> God no, no. is in control of this project. God is in control. Yes, sir. And, and, and I realized, I said, all we got to do is stay hooked up. 
Mm. All we've got to stay is in that pipeline of provision of that reservoir that I know is right there and it's not for when I die one day, but it is reserved for me. In other words, and, and I came to realize that, that there is a guarantee of provision that God has yep. for me to see this project through Amen. and complete it. Philippians 4. Amen. Yeah. The apostle wrote to the church at Philippa and he said, not that I desire a gift, mm-hmm. yeah, but I desire a gift to your account. Amen. Yeah. There are heavenly accounts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen. Now, I don't, I don't usually do this, but it, it's come up. Stats through, uh, let's see, this is June 20. 23, this is July. Yeah. And uh, KCM began January 24, 1967. Radio broadcast started in 1975. Sunday broadcast in May 1979. Daily broadcast in 1989. So we're going back. With this is covering right. right from the beginning. Yeah. Television time air cost over that time, seven hundred and forty-six million nine hundred and sixty-six thousand four hundred and seventeen dollars. Wow. Total benevolent our tithing was adequate to that and more. Right. He gives our total grand income. But now listen to this. Cost saved by not borrowing. Mm. Michael Evans, certified public accountant, went to Oral Roberts University, came right out of there and went to work for us. Now, stand up and say, and rightly so, I'm not saying it's the wrong thing to do, Mm. that uh, I'm receiving the offering on a new church building (laughs) and thank God every Mm. dime you put in here is going right into that building. Yeah. No, it isn't. (laughs) Cost saved by not borrowing over these many years now. Mm. And it started right there at the very beginning. Mm. We were at Grace Temple Church. Mm. $53,097,581 of of partners' money. Church members' money Mm. that would have gone to the bank and didn't. Or would have gone to the you know, to some loaning institution. Right, right. But, now, and that's the way the Lord directed us. Now, he'll have to direct you. You, the, you right. go, go to God. I'm yeah, making yeah. a point of this. Yeah. Whether it's personal. Mm-hmm. I mean, believe God for the house. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. I don't care. Like right. with Gloria, it took 30 years to get the one she wanted. Yeah. 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 But we began to sow. Right. And I've told this many times. Yeah. This is just one of the situations. Yeah. We were at, going into Target store and I heard the tire squeal, Brother Copeland, Brother Copeland, Brother Copeland. And I stepped glory and I was walking in there. Mm. Walked out there, and young woman, two children in the back seat. The Lord told me you would be at the Target store today. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm two payments behind on my house. She's a school teacher. But she said, my property has become very uh, valuable and the bank will not give me any kind of uh, extension. This school teacher and two little children were fixing to be out on the street and homeless. Mm. Can you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Well, I was standing there praying in the spirit when she's telling me that. And, and I said, sweetheart, give me your, uh, your, your name and your phone number and I'll take this up with our legal department. And our legal department stepped in and paid the $9,000 on her home. (laughs) And so we set that aside and said, Lord, now here we have seed in the ground for the home that glory is. Come on, come on, come on. Praise God. We helped people in that area. But the reason I pointed it out, they didn't care. They just go take that, we put that woman out on the street. Yeah, yeah. They say, business is business. And not all of them are like that. Mm. Mm. But they're not like that at all if you don't owe them in the first place. Yeah, right. mm. Mm. And you just be still. Right. And she didn't know how to pay it. 
So she's just praying, I need to get a hold of Brother Copeland. And he said, he's going to be at the Target store. And I was. I, I was walking in there that day. Now, don't be coming up to me and wanting me to pay off the house. No, she didn't come to me. She went to God. Yes. Come on. Spirit filled come woman. On. Come on. Lovely lady. And she went to God and he directed her to me. Amen. And Gloria, and oh, we enjoyed doing that. And you, you go to places and we were at a, at a restaurant that we'd go to. Young woman had a bad marriage. And then she went back. Then they divorced and he took the car away from her and she's afoot. And she was, she's having to borrow her dad's car to get to work. Yeah. I said, well, what kind of car you want? I said, do you be praying, believing? Oh, she said, yeah, I prayed about this. She said, I, I knew I shouldn't have gone over there to him, but I, oh, she said, I shouldn't have done it. But my children are involved. I said, what, what kind of car are we want? I said, now, don't tell me about some dog. I want to know what kind of car it takes. Hmm. And well, she said, here's what I've been looking at and, and, and all of that. And I said, okay. So we prayed about that and, um, and we were able to Come on. help her. And then the next time we were in there, I said, did you, did you get the car yet? Oh, she said, and I really did. She said, my dad's here. I want you to meet him. He's one of your partners. <laughs> and he lived, he lived in another town. He said, Brother Copeland, I really appreciate what you did for my girl. Mm. Wow. <laughs> that was in a restaurant. Come on, mm. come on. Because we learned to be debt free. Connected. Yeah. Yeah. And we connected the dream. All right. Mm. Now, this dream is big. Mm. But that was just as big a dream to her. She was a foot. Mm. Yeah. That other woman was about to be homeless. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. This is a huge dream. Yeah. But now, wait a minute. The Almighty God, El Come Shaddai, Come who is more than enough, That's right. taught you and Jenny mm. how to do it. Come on. I don't think there's anything now he'd come up with that you wouldn't agree to do. <laughs> I'm in agreement. Yeah, you're in agreement, yeah, and that's yeah, the reason yeah. you stepped out and developed that network to go all over yeah. Africa, and you made a lot of people not too happy about yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, I won't go into that, but uh, anyway, Hallelujah. that's all right. They can be unhappy. Yeah, yeah. But you have to do. You have to forgive those people. Mm -hmm. Right. And this is the big thing. You have to walk in forgiveness. Yes. Or, or you'll yes. just... Amen. Uh, Amen. We were living there in that little house in Florentine. and I'd had a... Anyway, I, I was preaching up in Oklahoma. Sitting up in the bed, and I, and I was suddenly... And I had this vision, and there was a big pipe to about a 45-degree angle right here. Big, about that big around... And there was water golfing into the end of that splatter. And I could literally feel this little spew in my face. And I said, Lord, what is that? He said, it's unrepented unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. And I began to pray. And the Lord brought up something to me. A guy right out there came in before, and Gloria picked up a sack of cantaloupes. They looked so good, and got them home, and the only the top two were good. Oh. I said, give me that bag. I'm going down there and spank him. <laughs> she said, no, you're not. No, you are not. And I said, Lord, I forgive the cantaloupe guy. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cantaloupe guy. <laughs> Little grains of junk on the inside of me that had to be fixed. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're out of time again today. We'll be back in just a moment. Hallelujah. Glory to <laughs> God. There are those who seem to have discovered the key to financial freedom. 
If abundant prosperity remains elusive to you, it's time to look again at what God says about giving and receiving. The Gift of Giving by Andre Raybert is a transformative journey into the heart of biblical generosity. Uncover key truths from scripture about giving and dispel misconceptions surrounding principles of sowing and reaping. Your giving isn't just about what you offer, but the motive behind it. Learn how to release bold faith in receiving God's best for you through genuine selfless giving. Debunk the myth that only anonymous or secret giving is blessed by God. Understand that giving with a pure heart is the true path to abundance. As you embrace the truths within this book, let the Holy Spirit work in your heart and witness a life overflowing with God's goodness and bountiful prosperity. You'll become a living testament to God's generosity, inspiring others and drawing them to a generous God who delights in blessing His people. Don't miss this amazing journey. Walk in the financial freedom God has for you. Get your copy of The Gift of Giving by Andre Raybert for only six pounds and 50 pence. Outside the UK, call for postage. Receive an in-depth look into how biblical generosity and giving lead to God's prosperity. Order online at kcm.org.uk forward slash TV special or call 01225 787 310. This offer is good for 30 days. Take the word of faith wherever you go with the Believer's Voice of Victory magazine. Build your faith through powerful articles from Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and other guest authors. Read encouraging stories in testimonies of real life victory and equip your kids for spiritual growth in Commander Kelly's Corner. Download a digital copy for your tablet or mobile device. Sign up for your free monthly subscription or download your copy today on our KCM website. Then we begin to develop a grateful life, being in gratitude. And we just get up in the morning and just forgive everybody. Come on. Then walk into a restaurant and say, Lord, I forgive everybody in there and I'll bless anybody you tell me. Right. And learn to do that and you just walk in it all the time. And somebody can just say something terrible to you and uh, you just say, no, I forgive them. And uh, then tomorrow I have another story I'll tell you. But until then, <laughs> God loves you, and we love you, and Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. Give him a praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Watch the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast free on kcm.org.uk or KCM's Roku channel. If you would like a free copy of the broadcast to put into your faith library, you can download it on kcm.org.uk straight to your computer or mobile device. Keep your heart full of the Word of God and continue to grow in faith. Every believer has a voice, and it is the voice of victory.